Hey guys, this video is a little late, but a couple of days ago I just ran over 5,000 subscribers, which uh, just like when I hit 4,000 a few months ago, I thought it was kind of crazy and didn't think I'd ever get there. But just like then, I'm doing another giveaway. This time it's an F-Whistle made by Glenn Schultz. And uh, again, I'm just thinning out my herd of, of uh, excessive whistles that I've got because uh, I replaced this one about a year ago. Uh, so I'm going to play a tune on it, uh, one called the Torn Jacket. And then I'll go back and break it down on the D whistle, just because if you actually do want to learn this one, uh, not too many folks have an F whistle, so I'll play it on the D one, uh, so you'll be able to get a, get a handle on it. Uh, just like last time, if you want to enter the comp the contest to, to win the drawing here for the whistle, all you have to do is leave a comment. It, it can be a suggestion or request, or just simply saying hi is perfectly fine as well. I'll do a random drawing one week from today, and uh, I'll post it on YouTube. So, good luck, and hopefully you dig this tune and dig this whistle. Um, so here we go. I'll play it for you real quick. So, cool tune, I think. I'm going to go back here and just play the basic melody for you on the D whistle. Now, it's a reel. It's usually played a bit quicker than that, but the reach on these uh, the larger whistles is a little tricky, so I generally don't play them too quick on there. So, here we go, just the basic melody. That's the A part, B part. That's the whole thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool tune, and it is a, sort of a recent one. Um, too long ago, but it's kind of become one of those standard ones. So, ornaments wise, there's a lot you can do with it. Right off the bat, there's a lot of repeating notes. So, instead of. So, there's a couple of good long notes. So, you can go. Use a couple of rolls in there. So, uh, that usually works pretty well for me. Um, I do that a few times throughout this tune. It's kind of this double double cut thing. So that's just a two finger cut. So that's where the phrase ends. Now on that D, the high D, you're sitting on that. A lot of times I will just sit on it. I just think it kind of sounds nice with the rhythm of the tune. But you can also do a cran there as well. Um,
just kind of depends. I like just leaving it. I think it just has, has a nice uh, bit of a rhythmic change to it. So that's what I like to do for the A part. Now the B part, uh, it makes a bit of a jump. It starts on the low F sharp and goes, ultimately goes all the way to the high B. So, And there's just a couple of rolls there. So again, the basic melody. That's how the B part starts. So because you have those notes where you're just sitting there, I tend to accent most of the notes in that little phrase as it walks down. So I'm hitting a double tap on the F sharp, and then a single one on the E. And that phrase is a repeat from the A part. So to finish the B part, So I try to keep it fairly simple, but there's just a, a you know handful of small ones. That's like a roll up to the high B. A couple of ways you can do it anyway. So hopefully you like that tune. Again, to get in on the drawing, just leave a comment. Any old comment will do. Uh, as always, if there's any suggestions, I'm happy to take those, put them on my list, which I'm unfortunately not getting to very quickly. Hopefully I'll try to improve that. Um, hopefully you guys dig that one. Let me know if you have any other questions. Good luck on the drawing, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.